Hello everyone, Argsy here. Welcome back to Deer Creek. Now I had thought I would have got to a live stream to finish off the corn harvest here, uh, but things have been against us to do that, so we've decided we'd jump back in here and uh, put together another episode showing us getting this all finished and wrapped up. So we are here in the combine at the moment. Here in the second one you can see the uh, X9 up there in front of us. Looks like they must be full and they're going to be waiting for the grain cart. Grain cart's sitting over there, they are on auto drive so hopefully I'll pick up soon and uh, make a start. But I thought I'd spend a little bit of time in the combine today and uh, just help them get this field all finished off and uh, get all the corn into the silos and obviously get it drying as well. So we're just going to crack into this. Obviously what else have we got left to do on the farm? Well for this season we have our soybeans which are the green crop there on the other side of the road up in front of us that we will have to harvest sometime soon and then we will have another uh, haulage episode or live stream or something like that getting all our crop out of the silos and back down to the sell points just to see how much money we've earned we certainly know we are on a pretty good setup here at the moment uh, what else we're still using precision farming uh, we have got it on this field although we haven't got the soil data yet so the yields and things like that don't quite match up as well as they should do so uh, we're just having to manage that as best we can. But there we are, we are going to get to be full and have to wait for the grain cart. So we'll uh, just pause here and get to 100%. Get that auger out and uh, see what's happening with this grain cart. See if uh, we need to go and give it a prompt to get over here to unload. Alright, we've come over to see what the grain cart was up to and it's uh, finally got underway. But I think it's taken the X9 over here to be full for it to come and want to unload. So hopefully we'll see if it will pick up uh, our combine afterwards. They are both set up to work, uh, but I haven't actually had it running, that I can recall, using auto drive with a uh, player controlled combine. Certainly had it running with both of them on course play, but uh, not sure about the player controlled one. So we'll, we'll just wait and see what happens once this goes in here and uh, where it goes to unload combines first. Alright, well it looks like it's managed to find the X9 here and uh, going to make a start on getting them unloaded. Not sure if they're going to drive along or just fully unload, so they're going to do it all stationary here. So we'll wait and see, once they uh, get all the corn out of this combine, whether they will come down and empty out the other one. Well, it looks like the X9 has decided they are empty and going to keep moving. So let's just uh, sit here for a minute and see what the grain cart driver decides to do. Well, we're not getting any action. Uh, we've waited a little bit. We've got the auto drive showing waiting for call. So they're obviously not getting a signal from that combine. Even though we've got the correct auto drive course set in the combine, uh, I'm assuming it's because it's not on course play and therefore the course play driver isn't doing the uh, call to the grain cart. So we're going to go jump into that combine, we'll turn it on course play and see if that triggers the grain cart or not. Well we've turned our course play on on the combine, uh, I'm just watching the grain cart up there to see if it's going to move or not. We might go down and check on that and uh, see if it's trying to plot a course to this combine or not. Well and there we go, it does say it's now planning a path, so I'm hoping is planning a way to head down there, do a 180 behind the combine and get in underneath that auger. So fingers crossed this is going to work. If so, there we go, we're off and moving. So we'll see where they end up. Uh, if this is the case, I guess we're just going to have to uh, leave these guys to it and go and take care of something else. And there we go, they are turning around and going to get there under the auger to get this combine unloaded. So looks like we are going to be having to use course play. Not quite what I had planned, uh, but it is going to get the work done. That's if the grain cart decides to stop and let the combine unload. Haven't parked in a very useful position at all. Alright, there we go. They did another lap of the combine, driving through the crop, but uh, they got here underneath the auger. So things are up and going, uh, which is not too soon because the first combine is almost catching up to us, which is not quite ideal. Uh, but they'll probably need emptying out soon and we'll pause. So let's leave these guys to it. I think I'm going to take over from the grain cart. Uh, like we did in the last episode, I think it's going to be the most efficient way to get this done. So uh, we'll turn off the auto drive, we'll jump in there and uh, we will get things up and moving, hopefully as efficiently as we can. All right, and there's that combine all emptied out. So we'll let them uh, carry on. And if we just wait a little bit, we should have the other combine here, which will give us a full grain auger grain wagon to go and put into the uh, truck over there which is waiting patiently to get the grain into the silos so i did just realize we had our handy inspector 
hidden so we've just turned that back on you can see we're 85% full in the X9 so that's going to work out pretty much perfectly we'll let them get their auger opened out and uh, we'll be able to pull in here next to them and drive along here and get the tank unloaded probably be enough to pull us up completely uh, which means we'll have to uh, race over get emptied out into the truck and hopefully we'll avoid any collisions here with the combines so uh, I think now that we've got a bit of a system back up and running not quite the system I wanted it to be but it is a system that will work all the same and a crack into a time lapse uh, life and times of a grain cart driver again so we'll uh, catch up with you in just a little while bit of an update on progress things are moving along pretty well uh, I do need to be a little bit quicker though because I think our X9 is going to catch up to the S780 here in a second which uh, could cause a little bit of an issue there might be a bit of a collision we'll have to uh, have to wait and see I'm hoping we can get there in time but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to so we'll see what happens when we get over there but otherwise we've made a decent dent in the field not not a huge amount left it's still a decent uh, quantity of corn here but uh, we have got quite a way over it. So we'll get in here, we'll get this uh, combine unloaded and try and get some normality back to their order. Maybe have to try and slow the X9 up just for a little bit. Looks like we are just going to get here in time. Swung around. Oh, tell of the X... Oh, look at that. The X9 has actually detected the uh, collision there and has paused, even though they are uh, a lap ahead effectively which is uh, fantastic. There we go, we'll see if we can start going again. Perfect. Get that all back underway and uh, we'll keep going. 
I'll have to have a look soon and see how much corn we've got in the uh, silos and how much in the dry. And then we've basically got over to the trees left. Uh, I think there's only a few more rows down the top of the field there where it gets narrower. Uh, and then we'll have only the smaller part up this end to go. So making some very good progress indeed. All right, well, I said we'd have a look at what we've got in the silos. We've got just on half a million litres of corn and already 120,000 litres of dry corn out the other end. So what's that? 620,000 litres or so of corn. So that's uh, some pretty good progress there. I reckon we might get close to a million litres, but I don't think we're quite going to tip the scale there. I reckon we're probably between, between maybe 900 to a million, maybe around the 900,000. We'll see. But uh, let's carry on going. We're just getting the uh, X9 unloaded. We'll cruise forward and get the S780, and we'll have enough for another truckload. So we'll uh, keep moving, keep on going. There we go, another full grain cart. Basically, uh, every two laps or two passes by each combine, we are getting a full cart, which is good. So uh, keeping us very busy and moving all the time, as you would have seen in that time lapse. So we'll get this over and into the truck and uh, just keep things moving again. I was just taking a look at the map, our soybeans are in the last stage of uh, growth so they won't be too far away from being harvesting in the next few days, probably um, when we move into November. So that will be uh, good to be able to get over and get into those as well. Back over here at the truck, just get our auger out and uh, we'll get this all loaded into here. Seems to be going pretty efficiently, it's uh, a bit of a shame that the truck does have slightly less capacity than the cart so we are running around with some corn in the cart at times uh, but it is what it is a little bit hard to avoid unless we waited here to wait for the truck to come back around or if we uh, brought the cart down not quite full so we could manage it that way but I think it's going alright not going too bad at all we've got the green cart emptied out and uh, we're back over here getting it filled up again just about finished this land uh, the S790 up the front there will have one more pass the X9 will probably go down on the other side there and then turn around and head back up so it'll be interesting to see how those little pieces get cut out there I didn't actually recall what the course had but uh, I'm sure it'll just work fine now we're just going to carry on with this I'll uh, save you the hassle of watching it I've probably seen enough of the corn harvest so we'll catch up with you once we're a little bit closer to being finished probably into the final couple of passes well I seem to remember having a problem at out the spot in the field last time we were over here uh, but both combines almost on queue haven't quite run out of fuel there is certainly fuel in them uh, but they are popping up and saying they're out of fuel and of course they can't carry on so we're just going to hop in here and have a look here the engine's running there still that is flashing orange it does mean it won't go any further on course play so we're gonna have to go over and grab the fuel trailer come over and get them topped up uh, we've only got that very small part. When I started I thought we were going to go close, but uh, my last check we were looking pretty, but obviously didn't quite get as far as I'd hoped. So we'll go over and uh, bring the fuel trailer over and get them both filled up so they can keep on moving. Alright, here we are over with the fuel trailer. So uh, let's try and pull up here next to the X9 first. Now we're going to hop into the cab, we should be able to get that to start filling and then we'll go down and take care of the S7 and there we go, you can see the gauge is going up now I'm not going to need much, uh, so we won't take too much we'll get it half full or so, just so there's enough to finish here we can top it up properly when we get back over to the yard a little bit later on here we go, it should be enough so we'll uh, go down and get the other one done as well again the little simple inspector is coming in very handy there to keep an eye on our fill levels as a percentage including how much diesel there is in the trailer still so that's uh, very handy, there we go, that's 50% full, so we'll get our course plate up and going again and get these combines moving, get this field finished off and both combines back moving and uh, on their way to what should be their last couple of passes, only a very small section over there to do, in fact just so you can visualise it, I'll show you it on show you on the map there you go, only a very small little wedge to get finished off with so uh, it shouldn't take too long to get these last few pieces done so we're into the last few passes here must only be two or three on that side two or three on the other side not going to take very long at all to get this all finished unfortunately i am going to have to run the grain cart all the way back over to the truck and unload and then come back now uh, there might 
be able to get all of the uh, corn into the combines. We'll see how we go. Uh, but either way, it doesn't matter if we have to come back over or not. So uh, we're going to get this one unloaded. Probably by the time we're just about back, uh, they'll just about have this section all finished, I'd expect. Just looking at how full the two combines are, 80%, 81% in their 790, 54% in the X9. They would have been able to finish off here without me coming back with the grain cart. Uh, but that doesn't matter. It's not too far to go across the field and get over here and get them empty to probably better running the grain cart around than having a rather full hopper in the top of the combine and uh, traversing back across to the yard. There we go, just getting the last row and a bit all cut out and uh, corn will be done. Fantastic to see the end of this. This common is empty and they are on their way back over to the other end of the field. Cheated a little bit, I have got their course plate and said go and start the field on the first waypoint. Which they'll drive across and go and find that, which is uh, I guess a handy way to get them back to the side of the field rather than uh, having to do that all manually driving them. So we'll do the same here with this combine as well. We'll get the grain out and uh, then be able to do a final tally on how much corn we've ended up harvesting. There we go, 32,000 litres into the grain cart and uh, all finished. Looks like the other combine's going to start heading over back to first waypoint as well. Hopefully they'll figure it out. We'll get over and uh, get this emptied out into the truck. We'll just have to make sure we stop that combine before it goes and starts harvesting ground that's not there to be harvested. And the last little bit of grain out of here and we will be all empty. This combine parked up just there. The other one is on its way over. So, uh, we will just about be all finished. So we'll just uh, park this up here as well. That folded down and go and tell the truck to go and unload what's left into the silos. It does come the truck getting into the unload auger here to drop the remaining corn off. So as soon as it's done we'll go and have a look at how much corn we have. Alright that's the last hopper all emptied out. So we go and take a check at our corn dryer. Let's have a look. 705,000 litres of corn in the silos and about 165,000 litres of dry corn. So what does that give us a grand total of 870,000 more or less. So uh, that is not far off the 900 where I thought we might get. That is uh, that is good. I'm just looking there at our current corn price, obviously it is low, 264. Uh, we will get higher, get closer to December, we will get a better price than that for it. So uh, let's say we had a million litres at 264 dollars per a thousand liters we'd uh we have a decent amount of money off that corn looking forward to selling it and see how much we can make overall well there we go a couple of dirty combines a uh, dirty grain cart and tractor there but we do have all our corn harvested all uh, 870,000 liters of it which is fantastic It'd be great to uh, have that all done we'll ignore those few bits that we missed there but uh that has worked out very very well to get all that finished so next time, uh, hopefully, we'll be back for another live stream and we'll be into the soybeans over the road getting those all done. It'll be nice to get them finished and uh, get a little bit further with our explore, exploration of precision farming because obviously we have done a little bit more work on those fields. So I hope you have enjoyed that episode. Thank you all very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.